what you need to know about Triceratops. The Triceratops genus of dinosaurs, which lived between 68 and 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, is most recognized for its uncanny similarity to the rhinoceros of the present day. They were second only to Tyrannosaurus rex in terms of dinosaur fear on Earth. The final dinosaur to be discovered on Earth's surface was the Triceratops. Towards the end of the Mesozoic era, Triceratops developed, Age of Reptiles. They were widespread, mostly across North America. Until the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which is thought to have caused the mass extinction of plants and animals, primarily the non-avian dinosaurs, they were still alive. Paleontologists formerly thought that there were up to 16 distinct species of Triceratops based on the discovery of 16 different types of skeletal remains. But after more analysis and study, scientists came to the conclusion that one of the two Triceratops species, Triceratops horridus or Triceratops prissus, was the one whose remains were found. John Belhatcher made the first ever discovery of Triceratops bones in 1887, not far from Denver, Colorado. The specimen was a set of horns that were fastened to the roof of a skull. Hatcher collaborated with Othni Yell Charles Marsh, a renowned paleontologist who gave these horned dinosaurs the name Triceratops. The horned dinosaurs known as ceratopsids are distinguished by enormous bony ridges or fringes on the rear of their skulls. The biggest ceratopsian was Triceratops. Psittacosaurus, Centrosaurus, Protoceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, Leptoceratops, Styracosaurus, and Montanoceratops are some more ceratopsids. A fully grown Triceratops weighed no less than 12 tons, about 26,000 pounds, was at least 10 feet, around 3.1 meters, tall and reached over 30 feet, roughly 9.15 meters, in length. The proportion of a Triceratops height to that of an ordinary person is approximately one-third. The biggest known Triceratops skull specimen is 8 feet 2.5 meters, in length. It possesses a bony frill that fully encircles its neck, three prominent horns, and a pointed, sharp beak. The skulls of Triceratops were bony and readily and quickly petrified. Paleontologists have discovered several priceless intact skull specimens, all of which have been sold at expensive auctions. On a Triceratops skull, two of the three horns are located just over its eyes, while the third horn is located on its snout. The brow horns might reach a height of three feet. It has been hypothesized that they employed their horns both as offensive and domineering symbols of power. Triceratops were quadrupeds, walked on all fours. They had shorter three-hoofed front legs and relatively longer four-hoofed hind legs. Triceratops are believed to be slow-moving reptiles. They were extremely heavy, and their relatively small limbs made it difficult for them to run or move quickly. Triceratops have been found in areas with lots of low vegetation. Most of their population lived in the areas that are now the states of Montana and South Dakota. Paleontologists have also discovered Triceratops remains and fossils in modern-day eastern and western Wyoming, northwestern Dakota, central Colorado, eastern Montana, and the Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Although huge and strong, the Triceratops did not eat meat and was a severe herbivore. Because they were small, they could feed mainly on grass, shrubs, and low grass. Cycads, sturdy plants characterized by a hardwood trunk and stiff palm-like leaves, were an important part of their diet. From the markings on their beaks, jaws, and teeth, it is evident that they chewed on sharp, thorny plants. The social status of the Triceratops is still questioned to this day. The discovery of many solitary skeletal remains led officials to believe that these dinosaurs might have preferred to be solitary. However, a Triceratops bone bed, a deposit containing aggregated or single species dominated bones, 
found in southeastern Montana has caused paleontologists to reconsider its social status. It is assumed that they may have continued to exist in the herds. Paleontologists are convinced that Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus rex have lived together for a long time. The remains and fossils of Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus rex have been examined. They are from the same Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic. The two are also believed to have been involved in many long-running fights against each other. The T-Rex fed Triceratops, this has been proven by a team led by Karen Chin. They found a T-Rex coprolite, fossilized feces, in Saskatchewan, Canada, containing bones from the frill of a Triceratops bone. An average fully grown Triceratops frill spans nearly 6 feet, about 1.8 meters. It is an almost circular bony structure located at the back of the Triceratops head and attached to its neck. It was mainly used by these dinosaurs as a shield during combat. Additionally, it was also used to deter predators. Other theories suggest that the Triceratops frill served as an expression of sexual interest in the species to attract mates. Recent paleontological theories suggest that the collaret evolved to help the animal regulate its body temperature and adapt to the resulting changes in ambient temperature. Paleontologists aren't sure about Triceratops breeding methods. However, the fossilized eggs of these animals led to speculation that they lay eggs and hatched young. When calculating the lifespan of an extinct animal to be hundreds of thousands of years, many factors need to be considered. Paleontologists need a complete, well-preserved specimen of the remains to calculate longevity, which has not yet been found. For now, no one really knows what Triceratops' average lifespan must have been. The Triceratops was the last of the non-avian dinosaurs to walk the surface of the Earth. It is believed that the last of these dinosaurs lived around 68 to 65 million years ago. It is believed that the Cretaceous Paleogene event led to the extinction of the entire race, including the magnificent Triceratops. Triceratops were unique dinosaurs. Their fossilized skulls have been used as decorative pieces in mansions and castles and are extremely priceless pieces of history. Their outstanding appearance has inspired art and film directors to cast their models in movies and educational films, the most popular being the Jurassic Park series. Thanks to their round and voluminous appearance, Triceratops toys, figurines and games are all the rage among children. The Triceratops, the last of their kind, left a very intriguing, exciting and lasting impression on us. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, Mdat Officials for more videos.